All right, second video. Um, it's Friday. It's uh, pretty much happy hour. Um, it's just about time to pour a ice cold martini, but I wanted to check in real quickly and add um, some more thoughts to my new live stream. I figured that in this video I would explore some of the reasons why I think that live streaming is a really big deal and why I think that it's kind of the next frontier that um, it's going to be a real game changer and so I want to kind of explore it and and see how um, I can become fluent in it and uh, yeah so uh, what is it okay so obviously you know what live streaming is because um, by the slim chances that you found my live stream you are at least curious and ex and experimenting um, live streaming it's sort of like the uh, the latest race to the moon right now as um, Twitter's Periscope, Facebook is live, YouTube and Google are trying to get um, live. Everyone's sort of fighting right now for um, what is going to be the dominant platform for live streaming. And, you know, Periscope was early out of the gates. Um, I think Facebook is definitely going to be able to leverage its massive audience. Um, but the idea is that anyone with any um, smartphone uh, video capabilities has the ability to now um, create live broadcasts. So if you think about it, in the last couple decades, bright broadcasting live has been limited to really the massive apparatuses of um, the major networks, etc. Now, in a very intimate, amateur, and... Um, uh, accessible way everyone can be live broadcasting and in fact talking about amateur Lula over there is interrupting this broadcast because she needs to go outside so let's take a little walk while I let Lula out Lula you're so barky so yeah um, interesting things about live streaming um, you know with Periscope or uh, YouTube live streaming, we have the ability to be on the go, mobile. Um, that enables us to really have a uh, um, an unedited, live, very grassroots ability to find out what's going on. From a news perspective, um, during the San Bernardino um, shootings that were happening not too far from my house, um, several months ago, my initial reaction was um, the news is um, not giving us very good information. Let's see who's broadcasting on Periscope. And, uh, you know, like right there, there was a guy on the sidelines that was able to bring us a perspective that the, you know, major networks didn't have access to. Ready? Come on. So I thought... You know, it's just a really interesting tool, and it gives us the ability to um, have better access to what's to what's going out there. You know, from a very, um, uh, you know, like I said, like an amateur level. It reminds me. You know, I was never really a part of it, but it reminds me of the massive ham radio sensation that was going on. Uh, you know, part of the reason why there was so much appeal there. Was it was giving people the ability to span you know thousands of miles and talk to people from all across the globe uh, with very you know accessible means. I think that this is a really cool technology and it's a brand new way for us to connect to other people that we wouldn't necessarily have exposure to. So. Um, you know, another good example. I was at Coachella this year. I had my first Coachella experience. And one of the things that um, I thought was super awesome was that I got to see some live streaming on YouTube the weekend before I went. So I got to kind of scope out the artists and see what was going on. I thought that was a really cool... Um, that was a really cool use of the technology. Um... Yeah, so, I mean, in terms of um, 
how it impacts the cultural at large. You know, um, I'm a millennial. I think that um, people that are my age and younger are so fluent in uh, digital platforms that um, it's very easy to imagine a place where, you know, people are just constantly flicking on their um, live stream and able to share across, you know, all, the entire globe things that are going on. So I could imagine being at a show this weekend, uh, let's, you know, Zed was in town last night. Let's say I was at a Zed show. I could just easily flick on a stream and you could see what was going on even though you didn't have access um, or if I was at a, you know, at the Mercedes Benz Fashion Week, I think that that could be a really cool use of um, digital streaming. It would give you the ability to be there even if you weren't. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I'm definitely excited to explore it further. I obviously have a lot of work to do to get comfortable and more fluent in, you know, the actual broadcast. Here I am, like, holding my phone up like a selfie so you're watching a really shitty, jittery version of me. But... Um, I'm hoping to explore <coughs> and, and, and learn more and get better at it and hopefully bring some compelling content that people um, will be interested in, in keeping in touch with me on. So that's it for the moment. Maybe I'll live stream Martini Hour. Who knows? Talk to you later.